Welcome back everybody. Today we have more junior developer portfolio reviews to go over. I've got an inbox full of these things, so let's dive into them. So like I mentioned, I still have a bunch of these things to go through. People are still sending them in. I just wanna say one more time that if you sent your portfolio into the channel, it will be getting reviewed in an upcoming video. Life has been a little crazy right now and it's been kinda of hard to keep a schedule with YouTube. One day I'm gonna make one of these videos and I'm not gonna say that. I recently moved provinces. There's a couple other big changes in my life I don't wanna talk about in this video. However, this week we'll be starting up again with the weekly reviews from viewers, subscribers to the channel, that's portfolio reviews and resume reviews that I'm going to be starting to do. I sent out my very first poll in the community tab last week because I'm actually allowed to do that now. And it seems like an overwhelming percentage of you guys really like this viewer interaction. So viewing portfolios and resumes live on the channel. So I really wanna prioritize putting out that kind of content on here. So if you have sent your portfolio in or you've specifically asked for your resume to get reviewed, it's coming in one of the next videos. One quick note about when you guys send in your resumes to the channel, please, please, please just like edit out any personal information you don't want in there, like your address or your phone number. I'm gonna do a quick run through to like take that stuff out so I don't just like blast your guys' personal info to YouTube, but I miss some things. So if you are sending it in, try and just put in like dummy info for that. Now with all that being said, keep sending in your portfolios and resumes. I really do like doing these every single week. I'm gonna start putting these out every single Saturday. I think I'm doing like a talking head sort of like informational style video once a week. And then these like live viewer reviews on a Saturday to kind of get two a week out. I just love seeing how much you guys like get out of them and just like meeting new people. There's one person who sent their portfolio in today who's been watching the channel for a while and actually like took all of the tips from all of those past videos and applied it to their portfolio. And I think it really shows like it's a really like well put together project and someone I would probably like bring in for a job interview if I was in that position to be hiring. So it's just really cool and like rewarding to see. So keep sending them in. I'm going to get to them. I'm going to try and get through like four a week here and just, yeah, keep going as long as they are getting sent in by you guys. All right. Without further ado, let's dive into the portfolio reviews this week. All right, so first up on the chopping block today, we have Guzman. Guzman, I've been a self-learner for the past six to seven years. Holy crap, man, that's a long time. I'm currently in my specializations year. I'm gonna be graduating in about five months. So you, I'm guessing, are just graduating high school and you've already been coding for six to seven years. That is insane, man, good for you. Just find your channel, find your content amazing. Thanks, dude, really appreciate that. Okay, let's see what you got. Um, thanks a lot for your email. If I had to choose one of them, this would be the one going forward. Okay, that one's dead. Okay, this one works, so this one we're gonna go for. I'm gonna assume this is the portfolio that you're using. Full stack software engineer looking for permanent opportunities in the industry. Take this out, just full stack software engineer. You don't need to be looking for opportunities in the industry. You wanna be a commodity, not desperate. About me, hire me, contact me. That's all good. Where does this take me? That doesn't take me anywhere, that's broken. Okay, you gotta fix that, hire me. That takes you down to the contact page. So you need to fix this button. Um, it probably should do the exact same thing as hire me. Whether you need them both there, I'll leave up to you. I'm an enthusiastic developer with an addiction for discovering new coding perspectives. I really mean it. Do you need to say I really mean it? I think if you're saying something, you should mean it. You'd probably take that out. You have your resume available for download here. That's great. I'm not gonna go into this too much. I'll probably do it in a resume review video next week. Projects. Okay, so this is the good stuff, your projects. Looks like you have like Four, yeah, that's pretty good. And you have your GitHub listed, that's awesome. Really would prefer that open up in a new tab so I don't have to go back. That's just a small quality of life thing. You have 26 repositories, that is insane. That's really good. Okay, this right here, upcoming full stack software engineer, just take that out. Like all this stuff sounds like you're underselling yourself. It really sounds like you're like, I'm not a software engineer yet, but I will be one day. Just call yourself a software engineer. You don't need to undersell yourself. It's just gonna end up in you getting paid less for your first job. Okay, this is a crap ton of repositories, so I'm not gonna have time to go through all these. So let's just look at the main projects that you got listed. Geeks ULTD is a website that publishes news, reviews, and opinion pieces on tech and gaming. Thanks to our partners at Samsung. Whoa, excuse me, what? Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Um, okay, I'll link a new tab. Okay, that doesn't work. So you really gotta fix that. That looks like a really sweet project, man. I really wanna check this out. Like, Maybe this is just fake, I don't know. Um, but that doesn't go anywhere, gotta fix that. Well, Shell, like all these projects are broken. Like I don't really understand what's going on here. Um, I, maybe your portfolio just like wasn't done when you sent this to me or your other one's down. 
But um, like the layout and everything here is great. They just need a link somewhere. Skills, I believe myself to be an enthusiastic learner. Here are a couple of languages and tools I've learned with. Like I believe myself to be an enthusiastic learner. Just, I'm an enthusiastic learner. Everything you have here is really good. You just need like a little more confidence and conviction in what you're saying and you're gonna be like off to the races. Stop selling yourself short, man. Just say like what you're about and leave it at that. C, Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, MySQL. Okay, this is all really good stuff. Um, WordPress, sure, I guess you can keep that in there if you want to. You're looking for a full stack developer job though, probably not that important. Okay, born in Greenwich, grew up in six countries, back to the USA. Currently studying full stack software engineering at Halliburton School, Tulsa. Okay, this is all fine. Aside from coding, I absolutely enjoy browsing UI mockups, building PCs and grinding in competitive FPS shooters. Yeah, I think this is fine. It's not too much, it's not too little. Like this about me is short and sweet. That's probably where I keep it. Also, I haven't really said this yet, but like your UI on your site is really nice. This looks really good. Um, yes, there's like a couple broken, like weird things you need to fix, but it looks like a good site. Contact interest in working together. Let's connect via email or LinkedIn. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I just downloaded a file. Should I open this? I don't know, it's kind of scary. Let's see. I downloaded uh, contact.php, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so you need to fix that for sure. <laughs> Do these work? LinkedIn. Again, it'd be nice if that opened in a new tab, but it's good that you have your LinkedIn on there. And your email, this hopefully is an A tag, an anchor tag, and it opens me up to an email to you. That's good. Let's connect, jump to, yeah, okay, so this is all pretty solid stuff. Oh, you write on Medium? Is that gonna take me anywhere? Yeah, okay, so that's cool. What would be really sweet if like you pulled these in over like the Medium API and like showed them on your site, like have a little blog section, and, like pull the most like recent three. That'd be pretty sweet to see in there. Cause then like I barely even notice this, just like skimming the bottom of your site. We just like pulled it in and like, I post on Medium and then like made an API request. That'd be a nice thing to add. We'll do a quick look on mobile, see how it holds up. iPhone, ah, you got some padding here you gotta fix when it breaks down. Uh, how's the scroll to looking? Hire me, that works pretty good. Let's look at the projects. You got a pretty cool like grid thing going on. Yeah, this looks really good on mobile. That looks awesome. Um, this all breaks down nicely into columns. This all holds up. You might want to think about bringing the text size down on mobile a bit. I don't know how responsive that is. It didn't look like it changed too much. Um, contact, yeah, this all looks pretty good on mobile. Oh, I might put these into like separate columns. This is a little weird. There's like padding here that I think was there on desktop that shouldn't be on there on mobile. But other than that, looks pretty good. This one. Thanks for sending it in. I don't know if this is the right portfolio you meant to send in. There's a lot of stuff going on. It looks like you need to fix some broken links. Um, your projects, I don't know if they're hosted, but they don't go anywhere. It looks great and it's going in the right direction. Change some of the copyright, fix that broken stuff. And I think you're in like amazing shape for someone who's just coming out of high school, I think, I'm not 100% sure. Either way, even if you're a couple of years in university, really good job. Uh, with this, I wouldn't bring you in for an interview because everything's broken. But if you fix everything up, like without question, I'd bring you in for an interview. Okay, so next up we have Samuka. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher that. I'm not even gonna pronounce it. Thank you for sending it in. <laughs> you accidentally sent it to me as like an HTML blob, which is funny, but I got the real link now. So let's take a look. Wow, this looks pretty nice. Hey, I've seen this background before. This is off like a, like a code pen or something. I know what this one is. Most people aren't gonna notice that unless like, um, you know, someone who like really like codes a lot is looking at this. Um, and I mean like coding like personal projects and stuff, like most like hiring managers aren't gonna notice. You're, you're fine, I've done it before too, but I noticed. Front end developer, let's see what happens here. Contact me, takes you right to the bottom, that's good. Let's check all these other scroll twos. This is a nice, look, this is a nice UI. This thing is sweet. Um, I see you borrowed some illustrations from Undraw. That's fine, I mean it's just a personal portfolio site. As long as it looks good, no one's gonna really call you out on it. This is kind of weird here. You have like some weird capitalization going on. Like this is fine, I think, because it's a title, but I don't know why you capitalize responsive. Um, you also misspelled experience. That's how you, that's not how you spell experience, is it? No, 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 no. No, that is definitely wrong. Yeah, so you gotta update that. I'm currently looking for an opportunity to show my potential. Uh, this. Like again, you're underselling yourself. You don't want to sound like desperate. Like I'm looking for an opportunity to show my potential. 
Like, no, just like, I'm really good. This is what I'm worth, like hire me. That's kind of like the vibe you want to be going for in your portfolio. This to me just says like, you don't have any experience. You're not really sure like of your skill set. Uh, resume, so that's available for download. That's awesome. I'm not gonna go too far into this. I'll probably do it in a resume review video. I really like how it shows it like in the browser and you can like, just like go like right back. And there's an, oh, there's an option to download as PDF too. Wow, that's that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. One little thing, I noticed you built this site with Gatsby, which is awesome, I'm a big Gatsby fan, but change the icon, man. Like their whole portfolio looks so slick and nice. And like, all you gotta do is like change this little icon to like your own personalized one, like something super simple. And that would just like complete the look. Skills, technical skills, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node, React, Gatsby, Next.js, other skills, Redux, TypeScript. This is weird to me. Like. TypeScript is a technical skill. Like, I don't know if you're aware, but like MongoDB is a technical skill. Like this to me sounds like you like don't know what you're talking about. I would maybe change this to like front end skills and back end skills and like, you know, chuck like Redux and bootstrap and material over in front end and like keep like, uh, I guess TypeScript could be front end or back end. So you could, um, but either way, like keep MongoDB and Express over here in like back end. And tools like Git, Git Bash, uh, VS Code, Figma, that's all good. Just put Bash here, because like Bash is a shell, right? You can use it like with anything. I know what you're talking about, like Git Bash for like Windows, but just put Bash shell, it just sounds better. Okay, moving on to your projects. Ecart, full stack e-commerce website, awesome. Online video editor, that's pretty cool. Haven't seen one of those before. Country related information search, pretty basic. A recipe search website. Okay, so I can see you're progressing in your projects, which is awesome. And I love how you have live demo and the code. Cause if I go to this, it's gonna take me to your GitHub, which is sweet. And you have like a picture and about like all of the features you built for it, what you built it with. Okay, this is how you lay out a portfolio. Four projects, seeing the progression that you made on them. All of them are actually like pretty complex link to the live site, link to the GitHub, and then a really descriptive readme so you can see exactly what you built and how you built it. Like this is like exactly how to do it. A full live demo here, let's see what we got. Netlify app. Is there a backend for this hosted? Key concepts, Redux hooks, bcrypt. Yeah, so I'm not sure where you're hosting this like Express Node.js MongoDB setup, but um, it looks like it works, so that's cool. It looks amazing. Um, this looks really, really good. Like, damn, this is a way better project than I ever had when I was applying for my first couple of jobs. Nice. Okay, and it looks like you can actually like create a cart. So if I go here, like add that to my cart, like boom, there it is. Wow, log in to place order. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna sign my email up and everything, but I'm just gonna trust that this, yeah, this is perfect. This is like money project right here. I want to take a look at this one because this one's really interesting. Online video editor, 100% free, no ads. Okay, how do I actually do something though? Info performance, what is this? Please wait for a few seconds. Do you need like a tool tip or something here? Like you're a front end developer you're saying, right? So like I need some more like UI, UX goodies here. Like I need to know what this is. Like what do these icons do? I need like a tool tip, like an on hover, like something. Cause this to me is not like the cleanest UI. Like I come here and it's like tells me what it is, which is great no more, which is great, but how do I use the damn thing? Like I go here, like, oh, this is for like a GIF, I'm guessing. And this is to like crop and like whatever, but like, how do I upload a video? Oh, I see, you can expand the menu. See, that wasn't apparent to me like right away, which maybe it should have been, but I think you could have made it even easier. Cause like, you're, if you're a front end developer, you should be trying to think about making things stupid proof, right? I'm stupid, like make it stupid proof. You can rotate, but how do I upload a video though? Like I just, do I just like drag and drop? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one for now. Really cool idea. Like I, I like the, like it drew me in, made me wanna look at it, but I think there's a couple little things you can tweak to make it an easier user experience. Then these guys are pretty like basic projects. I'm gonna take a quick peek. Um, like your UI is still really good, like really simple. You can like have some filters here. I can probably like search like Canada or something. Perfect, yeah, that's cool. There's like a map, wow. Like you got some serious skills, man. Um, dark mode, I love it when they have dark mode. <laughs> I always do on my projects too. This is a nice portfolio, like this is really good. Um, get in touch, let's see what happens here. Submit. 
Okay, so it says it sent, but it didn't give me any sort of like confirmation. Like it cleared the form, which I'm guessing made sure it worked. But it would be nice to have like a, like a pop-up or like a modal or something saying, oh, something went wrong. Oh no, what happened? Okay, so you do have some sort of error handling, which is good, but you gotta fix that. Cause I tried to send you an email and it didn't let me. So yeah, yeah. Other than that, your portfolio is like perfect. Just work on that one. I don't know why you have two emails. That's a little strange to me. Um, kind of confusing. Like if I want to hire you, like which email do I send to? I don't know. I can't contact you on your form because it's broken and there's two emails. You just need one. Like whatever email you use for your like, like business or recruiting, like your main email, just keep it there. Address, you definitely don't need to have your address like at all. Like it shouldn't matter where you live, especially if you're applying for remote jobs and you can relocate if you find a job that you like, just take that out of there. All you're gonna do is hurt yourself because if someone's looking for someone in the area, um, they're not gonna hire you if you live too far away. Other than that, like you have your Twitter. Ooh, Twitter, I don't know about that. Let's see if this is personal or like professional. Yeah, like if you just have a personal Twitter, like unless you're just using it for professional purposes, I would just keep it off. They don't give a shit about your Twitter. They're not gonna care how many followers you have, how much you post about JavaScript. But if you say something dumb on Twitter, you're not gonna get hired for that job. So just don't put it on there, in my opinion. GitHub, your LinkedIn. Cool, okay, yeah, so I, I would bring you in for an interview based on this. There's a couple like small things you probably tweak and I would bring that up like in the interview and ask like what happened there. Um, but like just, yeah, on this, if I was hiring a front end developer, I would definitely bring you in for an interview off this portfolio, like really good job. And I'm doing a quick once over of it mobile right now, because honestly, this is all people are gonna do anyway. And it, it looks like it holds up really well. So yeah. Thanks for sending it in and good luck. Okay, next up we have a very easy to pronounce name, Jonathan. Jonathan's a self-taught web developer. All right, let's see what you got, Jonathan. Okay, so I am going to go out on a limb and say this is a template. I feel like I've seen this before. If you built this yourself, my apologies, but I feel like I've seen this before. This background was definitely used by the last portfolio we did. So I'm starting to see a theme here. Just might be something to watch out for. Most people probably aren't gonna notice, aren't gonna care though. I'm also gonna assume that you're looking for freelance work here. Cause I see like my services, um, book a quick call. Like it doesn't look like you're looking for a job. All right, see your services. That'd be nice if that was a scroll too. That was, oh, I see it jumps to a different page. Gotcha. Okay, let's jump to your services here. Explore plan, $250, custom coded website, three page layout, responsive design, one round of revision. That is super cheap, like $250 for that. Like, I don't know, maybe you're in a different country, but personally, like I'm in Canada, I would not hire you for $250. Like if I'm paying $250, I just kind of assume that the work is not gonna be good. That's way too cheap. Bring your prices up. I know it can be tough when you're first getting started, just like, cause you just want to get like anything to like get, make some money. But I think you, are underselling yourself and just kind of like telling people that you don't value your skills high enough. Premium plan, custom coded website, five pages up to five revisions, immersive plan, unlimited pages, unlimited revisions, social media campaigns, brand message color and fonts for $700. That is a steal. Like if you were actually really good at what you do, like I would hire you to pop these things out at 700 bucks a pop and charge the client 10 grand just be making money off you all day. Like you need to think about your pricing. Booking, okay, you have a nice little contact form here. Let's see what happens. Send, thank you, your form has been received. Oh, it's using Netlify, that's cool. That's perfect, nice and easy. Um, you don't have to do much work to set it up, great. And it keeps you right in the flow of the website, awesome. This like background here is weird. It reminds me of like an old like Windows like background from when I was in eighth grade. I might try and find something different. This looks a little, uh, I think it looks like a little tacky. Business resources, your one-stop shop for all the resources you ever need to get started working on your business because we understand how valuable and time consuming to find things are. Oh, I see. So you have like a blog or like your design tools. I see. Okay. Figma, Canva, Unsplash, best website builders. Okay. So I don't really understand why you're pushing website builders if you're offering to build websites. Uh, it seems a little counterintuitive. Like if I'm coming to you to try and hire you to build a website and I find like all these great website builders I can do it for free for, like I'm probably not gonna hire you. I'm gonna go try and do this myself. Also, why would you be trying to tell me to do it myself if you're trying to like get me to hire you? It seems a little counterintuitive. I think if you're gonna have a section like this, you can maybe have like the tools we use. So if I'm like someone with technical experience, I can see you know what you're doing or just have a blog. 
where you talk about like things that actually like benefit your business and will want to like make people and still trust in you. Um, this seems like a little weird to me. Publication, no idea what this is. Let's see, creating web experience. Oh, I see. So you do have a blog, you just post on Medium and then you like link to the Medium subdomain that you've set up. That's fine. I think in this case, like you don't even need that last page you just looked at, just stick with this. You can even pull in these blog posts from the Medium API. I think you can do that. And then just show them on your website to like keep everyone like totally in the flow of your site. Um, that's another option too. A little more work though. This might be fine the way it is. And last but not least, the portfolio. Website for women's clothing. A redesign website to improve the design, a beauty website, React application, demo hotel page. Okay, let's take a peek at a couple of these. Okay, so this actually looks like pretty professional. I'm gonna guess this was for a real client. Like I'm pretty sure it looks like it could be. Um, let's see if I can actually go and check something out here. Let's grab a nice pink outfit here, add that to cart. Check it out, and I'm gonna guess it's gonna generate a Shopify link. Taking a minute, usually they do. Sweet, okay, so this will actually generate like a Shopify link and I can like plug in my information. So this is like a real portfolio, if like someone like paid you money to make this site, this is awesome, this looks really good. Um, it is just like a Shopify template, like I'm not really sure how much work you put into this, like how much is custom. Um, so that would be like a, like small red flag for me. But I mean, if you're just, I guess you're just looking for clients here, you're not looking to get hired. So I think that'd be totally fine. A website here built with Wix. Okay, yeah, so you're really just like looking for clients. You're not really like looking for any sort of developer job. Yeah, I mean, it looks okay. These are like super pixelated. Like these, like, yeah, definitely the media you're using can be changed. I don't know if you handle this or if like client you're with handles this, but this doesn't look very professional at all. They're like, someone looking at this, looking to hire you isn't gonna know. Oh, I see, there's a very long load time. Yeah, so you gotta work on that. So um, I'm not sure how much actual like development experience you have. Like this was Shopify, this is Wix, Shopify. Okay, so this was built with SaaS, React. Okay, so you do have a little bit of code experience. So you can do, definitely do some optimization on this. Like lazy load these images in. Um, I'm not exactly sure how Wix works, how much control they give you over that, but I'm sure there's a way you can get around it. Maybe there's like a plugin or something you can use, but that definitely is like a big red flag. Um, it's like the first thing I see when I land on that site. And I don't think you have a store built in here too. So I'm guessing this is sort of like Wix e-commerce sort of deal. That's cool. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Other than the loading issue, it looks really good. Uh, okay, so this is your only like React sort of development project that's not using a template builder. So I'm gonna take a peek at this. Uh, it looks like this is just like a pet project, like one of your own. I wouldn't put this on your portfolio site. If you're looking to like get clients, this just looks like super unprofessional. Like what is this? What does it do? Like how would this like help my business like sell or like make new clients or something? Uh, if this was like a personal portfolio, like you're just trying to like impress a recruiter or something or like show off your React skills, sure. Uh, in this context, I wouldn't do it. A demo hotel page, React built with SaaS. This is weird, like what, I use React as well, so why is just SaaS like labeled here? You obviously use React, um, so it seems kind of odd. Okay, this looks, like the UI looks not bad. Um, so, oh, this is like super like squished in. What is this? I don't know where you're hosting this, uh, but this is super weird to me. And like, you can't really like click anything here. I think this is just like a mock-up that you built. It doesn't actually do anything. I would definitely say something like that say something like that in like the details here. But like these two projects, like I'm looking to hire you to like build me a website for my business. I don't care about these. These make you look unprofessional. Um, if it was your own personal portfolio, again, like fine, but I would get these out of here. All right, let's take a look at the rest of your site here. Let's build your brand, e-commerce solutions, web development, web design. This is kind of weird, like just React for web development, just Figma for web design. Like, I don't know why these logos are here. Like, I feel like you can either add more and not have them at all. Like, seems a little strange. Like, if you put like Shopify, Wix, WordPress, and like React, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, like, sure, that that make more sense to me. Fast and reliable, 24-7. We are available to answer your questions or concerns anytime you like 24-hour open communication. Is that true? Are you just a one-man shop? Because if you're a one-man shop, I don't think you can promise that. Book a quick call. Okay, so you have a Calendly, that's perfect. From the founder. Okay, this is a little weird, because I think this is just like a one, it, I'm getting like different vibes from this website. Like it looks like you're a one-man shop, but you keep on saying things like we, 
and like from the founder. If you're like a one person like contractor, like building these things out, just be honest and like just say that. Cause when you say like, when you try and play both, it makes me feel like you're trying to like sell me something that you're actually not. It makes you like not want to trust you and like pay you to do things. I would just stick with one. Like if it's just you, just say that, be upfront about it and just run with it. If you have a team, like sure. But if not, don't worry about it. Hello, I make your big idea come to life. If you need a web presence, I can use my knowledge to build your next idea. I'm a self-taught web developer and I know firsthand how hard it is when you have no guidance, no, no guidance but you do not have to feel helpless. This is a little weird, you don't have to feel helpless. I don't feel helpless. I'm just trying to find a guy to build me a website. I don't think you need to say that. Uh, you also don't really need to say you're a self-taught web developer. Um, I would rather just say like how many years of experience you have or how many clients you've served, like that sort of thing. That'll make me instill like, make you instill a little more trust um, in the person hiring you. Privacy terms, cookies. Yeah, I'm not gonna really look at any of this stuff. Um, it's good you have it though. Um, Okay, so overall, I think it's going in the right direction. I think you can clean up the UI a little bit. Some of this is a little dated. Um, your projects look pretty good. I would change up your branding though. So kind of how you're marketing yourself. Like if you're just a one man shop, just go with that and own it. Um, but I think if you make those small tweaks, you're in pretty good shape here. Personally, if I was hiring a developer to do a project for me on the side, I wouldn't hire you just because I don't see enough technical skills that are outside of Shopify and Wix. Like if I need something custom that involves more like JavaScript, CSS edits, I don't know if you'd be the guy to be able to do that. So if you had a couple more projects that use different tech stacks, I think like that would like totally clear that up and I wouldn't have any questions about it. Um, yeah. Sweet, thanks for sending in Jonathan and good luck to you. Okay, lastly, a nice easy to pronounce name to round off the day, we have Daniel. Uh, I started from a Gatsby template to save time, add a lot of my own features, that's cool. Uh, okay, doesn't really say if he's like self-taught, looking for his first job, but let's take a peek what he's got. Sounds like he's been watching the channel for a while and looking at other portfolio reviews to come up with his own, so let's see if he's pay attention to it. Hi, I'm Danny, I'm a full stack developer. Skills, product, about contact. Nice, clean, quick, I like it. You change your icon to a burger up here, that's Danny Burger, that is sweet, I like that. This is really nice, wow, like everything just floats in beautifully. It's like simple, but clean. I can totally tell what's going on. Your about, your contact. I'm gonna make sure these like scroll too, I'm guessing. Yes, that is great. Um, it'd be really nice if this menu like floated down with me because after I come down here, I can't get back up to it. Cause I, like if I want to get to your LinkedIn, uh, if I want to get to your, you gotta open up a new tab. That's really good. Uh, your GitHub, let's see what you got going on here. You have a bunch of repositories here. You like customize your repo too. Like this looks really cool. I need to get around to doing this. It looks so good when you actually like take the time to do it. I'm just lazy. Good job though. I really like Kira, you have your favorite project repos cause I can like quickly get to like your, like your best work. And then, oh, you have a YouTube channel. That's pretty sweet. The hippie dev. Okay, I'm gonna creep this a little bit after I'm done this. For sure, 100% gonna creep that. And then you have your resume, which is perfect. Okay, I'll do this in an upcoming resume review video. I'm not gonna go into it too much here. I'll look at your skills. Apps are like burgers, they've got layers. Shrek, this is like so good. Like it's, okay, this is like, it's a little bit of humor, a little bit of personality, but it's simple, it's not too over the top. Like this is a really good job so far. Select a layer on the burger to show stack skills. Wow, front end, JavaScript, this is really creative, man. Really good job on this. Tools, Agile, Git, Electron, Webpack, and where's the back end? There we go, Node, Express. So your tech stack is like right on point. You have like Node, Express, uh, a couple ORMs, uh, Ready, Sure, JavaScript, React, Redux, like this is like perfect. Exactly what like the modern like JavaScript like developer should have in their toolkit and the, like, an awesome way to display it. The only thing I would say is like make this a little bit bigger because at first I just thought this was like just some text. I didn't even know I could do this. Like I like almost missed this. So I'd make this like a little more apparent if I were you. Projects, JavaScript jobs, USA. An interactive real-time job search tool to find jobs for JavaScript developers by location. Customers search in any USA, any US state to apply to hundreds of jobs plotted on the map in multiple view modes. This is really cool. I like how you say app hosts on Heroku, please allow 15 to 30 seconds to spin up. Like you 
get, tell, let them know you have limited API queries. That is awesome because if I'm a developer and I see it's like taking a long time to spin up, like I'm gonna know it's hosted on Heroku. But if I'm like a recruiter or something or someone who's not super technical, I might not know that and I'll just think your shit's broken. So good job on like, yeah, labeling that there. I always recommend that. You might've got that from one of the last videos. So we have to see it live as well as source code. That's always preferred. It's gonna spin up, so I'm gonna come back to that. And this should link me right to the GitHub repo. Awesome. You have an awesome description. You have a demo video on YouTube. That is huge. Because honestly, if I'm hiring a developer and I have to look at like 40 of these, I'm probably not gonna like poke through your application and like build like a, or like sign up for it and put my email in. But if I can quickly see a video on YouTube, like walking through it or like a GIF on your website, that's like money. It gives me like 20 seconds, like total overview of what you've done. You have the tech stack, that's fantastic. And how to set it up to run it locally. So like if I really want to, I could run this thing locally. That is like, money and this thing like looks like it actually works really well okay so let's select a state let's go let's go alaska they have any jobs in alaska for javascript yeah i didn't think so oh there's a few there is a few look at this software engineer back end apply now wow what is this and it'll take you right to the site where you can apply this is a, a real usable application like this is awesome like i might actually use this or like recommend this to my girlfriend who's job hunting right now this is sweet I think this is a perfect example of a project. It's hosted, it's actually usable, like it shows initiative, like this is like money. Yo daddy, I already know I'm gonna like this. An e-commerce site attempting to fill the world's insatiable need for all things baby Yoda. All right, let's 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 spin this up on Heroku. Oh, that was actually really quick. I, you maybe have them host on the same like dyno or something. Uh, okay, so what can we do here? 2D baby Yoda, crochet baby Yoda. And then you can just add that to your cart right there. You know what, let's grab some, uh, let's grab a keychain too. No, it's not a keychain. You know what, let's grab a waffle maker. Yeah, let's grab one of those too. Now if we go to our cart and boom, we can actually check that thing out. This is great. Like it's, it's a little dated, but it's got like the whole like old school Star Wars theme going. So I'm here for it. Usually I'd say like you should redo this and make it look like very modern. But I think for what this is, it's actually like right on the money. And of course, you gotta have your expense tracker. I'm gonna let this one go because it was your first project and I can see you like progressing. So I'm I'm gonna let this one go. Um, it's also not even hosted. We just have the source code. So I don't even know if you even wanna have that on your portfolio. Uh, unless it's hosted, you might not, be, not wanna have it there. Um, I think it's okay for now just because you do have like all of these uh, images and stuff that sort of like display what it's about and I quickly get an idea of what's going on and it fills up some space in your portfolio. Um, you have a YouTube, video too, so I can quickly demo it. Like this is awesome. Um, this could probably stay on here. Like that, that's all right. Cause you do only have two projects. As a lifelong musician before tech, I taught guitar and voice, ran a rehearsal studio and book concerts in NYC and beyond. In 2020, I took a leap and trained in modern app development at Full Stack Academy. Okay, so this shows like you actually, usually I would say like you don't need to say that you're switching careers and that you haven't been in tech for very long. I think that's only gonna hurt you. But like you ran a rehearsal studio, like you worked in like book concerts in New York City. Like that shows me just that you're a like motivated, resourceful person and you're probably gonna do well at anything you do. So I think I would leave that for now. And in this case, like I think that's really good to show. Contact form, this contact form could use work. Man, this is kind of like a bummer because the rest of your site is so on point. This contact form, I think you can clean this up, make it fit with the UI your site a little better. I'm gonna make sure it works here. Pop that off. And you're using Netlify form again. So yeah, keep it simple. I like it. Take it right back to the site. You can just add some CSS in here, CSS in here, spice that thing up, and you're gonna be good to go. Overall. I really like this portfolio. This is like right along the lines of how I would kind of do it myself. Uh, there's a couple little tweaks you can make. If I was hiring a full stack developer, um, especially a junior, like you'd be at the top of that list. I would bring you in. Good job on this. Thanks for sending it in, Danny. Uh, best of luck on your first job search. All right, so thanks again for everyone who sent these in. Like, have a blast doing these. I hope you get something out of it. This far in the video, like, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're getting something out of it. When you're first starting YouTube, it's super, super hard when, like, not a lot of people are following you. And, like, every single, like, comment, like, subscribe I get, I appreciate so much. And it just, like, it feels like I'm just, like, I don't know, like, connecting with you guys. And it, it just gives me the motivation to keep making these and keep helping people out. So if you like the video, like the video. 
If you've been enjoying this stuff, subscribe to the channel, like show it to someone, like tell your friends to send in their portfolios. I really like doing this stuff and it's just like super encouraging to get that feedback. And speaking of feedback, if you guys have any like recommendations or comments on the format of these things, like feel free to let me know in the comments. I genuinely really do listen to those. Like I had an audio issue I was having and then like I recently like upgraded some of my kit so I can like fix that problem. Um, just let me know and thanks for dropping in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.